Well, the hand laid a leg. Laid a leg. <laughs> poor, poor hen. Laid a leg. <clears throat> well, the hen laid a leg. What? Why? Laid a leg. Laid a leg. Even though I'm a great fan of Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Well, I do love Julia Roberts. I do love Julia Roberts. Why not? But it's Julia Donaldson. Thank you so much, Ethan, for your advice. Even though I'm a great fan of not Julia Roberts again. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Jill, and I'm finally back from my mini mini vacay. As many of you probably also had your spring break, Miss Jo also deserved to have it at the beach. Yes, as you might think, every day I went to the beach. How lucky am I? Well, but with no further ado, let's pass to our story of the week. So today's story was requested by Ethan Taylor from Huddersfield, England. And Ethan's story had an old lady, a wise old man, a cow, a goat, a hen, a pig, and a very, very small house. Ethan, do you remember what story you requested? <gasps> a squash and a squeeze. Let's go. <laughs> a little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Oh, wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hand, said the wise old man. Oh, take my hand? What a curious plan. Well, the hand laid an egg on a fireside rug and fled around the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, What shall I do? It was spooky for one, and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle, and there's no room to sneeze. Oh, in my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat? What a curious plan. <sighs> well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg and then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two. Oh, and it's teachy for three. The hen pecks a goat and a goat's got fleas. Oh, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig? What a curious plan. So she took her pig, who kept chasing the hand, and raiding the larder again and again. Oh, the little old lady cried. Stop, I implore. It was teachy for three, and it's tiny for four. If the pig in the larder agrees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Hmm, take in my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took a look and charged straight at the pig and then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. Oh, the little old lady cried, Heaven's alive! It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out. I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, 
Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. Oh, that's better. At last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the gold and shoved out the pig. Oh, my house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Oh, thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five. It's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. <laughs> And now she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. Hope you liked our story, guys. Thank you so, so much, Ethan, for your advice. Even though I'm a great fan of Julie Donaldson, as you all might know, I must be honest that I've never read this book before, and I really loved it. It's a great way to teach all of us how to enjoy and cherish whatever we already have. Great choice, Ethan. So a big, big kiss to you straight to Huddersfield. Mwah! Please put your like and subscribe to my channel and comment on my Facebook and Instagram what other books could Miss Jo read next? Hmm. Till then, bye!